God still heals today. Today's show is Miracles and Wonders, and with me is Chuck Perry. And I can tell you, he has seen some amazing wonders and miracles, and they still take place today. How can you be part of it? Is it still real? Does God still work today? That's the question I would like to ask you right now, Chuck. Is this still real today? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, he is. He, you know, miracles are the love language of heaven. It's who he is. Wow. Everything he does is supernatural because he's a supernatural God. Now, when I was raised, I was never told about the supernatural. Uh, I was never, it's called, I think, sensationist or something like yeah. that. And nothing, but yet my grandmother was pretty much raised from the dead by a, uh -huh. an, a pastor that did not believe in it. We did nothing with it. We just moved on with life and grandma mm -hmm. was alive another 43 years. Uh -huh. But yet, you say it's real today and it's a life today. How did you find out about that? Well, we came to know a supernatural God. We never knew any other God. Wow. I wasn't raised as a Christian. The first Christians we met were a supernatural group of people who believed in you know, prophecy and healing and miracles. And you know, so they raised us up in that. And you know, we also read this amazing book called The Bible. And <laughs> Everything in it one? is a miracle. <laughs> he did miracles all through the Bible. Wow. And it actually says it in the Bible right here. It says it here that we are supposed to do the same. Uh -huh. Because it says it right there in Mark 16, starting at verse 15. And he said to them, as you go into all the world, preach openly the wonderful news of the gospel to the entire human race. Whoever believes the good news and is baptized will be saved. And whoever does not believe the good news will be condemned. We all know that. And these miracle signs will accompany those who believe. They will drive out demons in the power of my name. They will speak in tongues. They will be super naturally protected from snakes and from drinking anything poisonous and yes here it is my friends and they will lay hands on the sick and heal them you do that today mm -hmm. give me an example of that an example of laying hands on the sick and healing them oh my goodness um, so we <laughs> we had an 84 year old woman who came into the healing rooms and she had she had back pains but Actually, she had had polio ever since she was a, a tiny baby. Wow. And so her right side never fully developed because of the polio. Her leg was shorter, her arm was shorter, and her joints didn't work. And so basically her right side didn't function properly. But she was an overcomer. She was joy-filled. She was getting on with life, 84 years of being an overcomer. And so she came into the healing rooms for back pain. But one of our children on our children's ministry team, we have a whole team of kids wow. in the healing rooms, and they're our special forces. And they believe. Yes, they have healing. no filters. They just come in and believe. So this nine-year-old boy went up to her and he said, your leg is too short. Leave no it up filters. to kids. <laughs> <laughs> and so she explained about polio, but he wasn't impressed. He said, can we grow it out? She, she'd never thought about that. She went, okay, and he had her sit down. He held her leg. You know, there's like that much difference. And it shot out. He said, grow, and it grew. Wow. And she was astounded. She could feel it in her leg. She got up, and she was standing for the first time in 84 years on a leg that functioned, you know, the same way as the other one. Wow. The thing that also she noticed is that her ankle, knee, and hip all worked whereas they didn't before. All of a sudden, she's, she's standing like that. Everybody's cheering. And I asked her, what is something you've never done before? She said, I've never walked upstairs properly. I said, we have some stairs out in the hallway. Can we try it? <laughs> she's 84, so, yeah. right? Wow. Yep. So she went out in the hall. We went out in the hallway, and she went up the stairs. And I got to see her face as she turned around and walked downstairs for the first time in her life walking perfectly, watching her legs move, no pain, no restriction. Nothing. She was radiant. So we took her to the testimony table where we write down the stories of miracles that happened. And um, about 10 minutes later, I came by and she said, look at this. And she picked up a water bottle, swung it over her head. And she said, I've never done this in my entire life. Wow. It, her whole arm was changed and grew out at the same time as her leg. Wow. I mean, God did that wow. supernaturally in one moment. 
That is amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and people are interested in this. You know, I used to be such a bored Christian till I learned about Bethel uh -huh. and growing and what people has to offer. And the question is, how can people become part of that? You are the overseer of the healing room. Mm -hmm. You see all kinds of miracles with a lot of people. Uh -huh. But how can people understand, how does this work? How do you get involved? What do you do? Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, first, I encourage people to read the Gospels. Just read every miracle story in the Gospel and all the promises of Jesus. And here's the challenge. What if everything Jesus said was true? Oh, wow. He said, it is. Yeah, he said, you'll lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. He said, the works I do, you shall do, and greater works than these, because I go to the Father. And that because I go to the Father, what does that mean? It means... Uh, when he goes to the Father, he said, we will send the promise of the Father, the gift of the Father, the Holy Spirit who's with you, but he will be inside you. This is the miracle worker moving inside of us. And so this is the power by which we get to do all of these wonderful things he promises. It's not by my own strength. It's not because I'm so good or I've practiced or I've been taught well. You know, in, in the natural realm, we, we think, okay, I have to learn and get better and better and better. Right. But in the supernatural realm, we become like that little child. No filters, just you, Jesus, everything you say is true. Wow. What if all the promises of God are yes in Jesus? Oh, wait. They, they are. are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> and all we'd have to do is say amen to wow. Jesus being the yes to the Father's promise. Right. And we glorify God, it says. And d didn't he say in the Bible, you'll do more than we do, which is hard to imagine yeah. Yeah. right there. Uh, mm -hmm. there. There is so much more to this. And I want to tell you, if you want prayer or if you want us to pray for you, contact us, 855-515-5550 or go to barbtv.org. God has not created you to be sick. God has not created you to live a miserable life. He has created you to live life in abundance. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. There's more. We will be right back. Are you ready to inspire and change lives? You can make a difference for a better tomorrow. God created you for more. You matter. There is an unprecedented pandemic of forgotten hearts. You can bring hope and answers. Inmates feel alone, afraid, and abandoned. Now is the time to find, to stand, to change, and transform lives. God loves them unconditionally. Adopt a champion empowers inmates to be a champion within themselves, within their family, and in the world. There are three ways you can help. Become part of our team, pray, and donate. Together, we can make a difference. You can start today. Go to adoptachampion.org. So Chuck, you have seen many healings. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed there is a certain, well, probably Jesus did them different every time with the healings, but yeah. is there a certain way of alignment or different elements that you should follow to start saying, hey, I'm going to pray for people? Or has there, have there been those experiences you pray for one, it didn't work, and you just quit? What um, do you think about that? I've never quit, but, <laughs> 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 but I have seen people healed and seen people not healed. But the amazing thing is, in the past two months, almost every week, I have an encounter with somebody who comes up and says, you prayed for me wow. a year ago, 10 years ago, you know, a number of years ago, and nothing seemed to happen, but I've been healed ever since. So I didn't get to see it. So wow. what I believe is it's impossible to pray and have nothing happen. I, and I so agree we with make that. a deposit and then God does it because He's the one who does the miracles anyway. And so um, there are two things that, that I think everybody needs to know. And the first is that He's already here. You know, so many times we cry out, oh God, please come, Holy Spirit, please come. But there's an honor in recognizing his presence. Mm -hmm. When I say, God, you put your Holy Spirit in me just because he says he did, I honor that. I love the feeling of his Holy Spirit, but when I don't feel it, I can say, God, I'm going to uh -huh. honor you based on your word. Your mm -hmm. word says I'm a temple of the Holy Spirit. 
your word says the spirit of you who raised Jesus from the dead live in me and give life to my physical body. When I recognize and declare what he says is true, based on his word, I honor him. When I don't feel it or smell it or, you know, see it or taste it with any of my senses, I go, this is what your word says, and I'm going to honor you wow. based on your word. You say you're here. You say you're a healer. And I just turn my attention to him right here. And then the second thing is, Jesus said, I only do what I see the Father do, and I only say what I yes. hear him say. Yes. This is good news because it means we don't have to know what to do. Which is freedom. That's refreshing. It is. Because you're always like, uh, what yeah. do I do? I, okay, Lord, I'm not hearing anything right. right now. And so I say, oh, I recognize you're here. You know, this is my prayer. I go, oh, but you're here. Impossibilities in front of me. Oh, but you're here. And then I say, what are you saying and what are you doing? I just want to partner with you. Sometimes he'll show me or tell me. Other times, I just let him lead and I don't have to understand. When I give up the need to understand, it's like this control freak up yeah, here. Yeah. Has to know how to do it or what's happening. And I just go, you know what? You're amazing and you're God. I just want to do what you're doing and say what you're saying. He leads me in all kinds of ways. And so when I recognize his presence, I honor him. When I say, what are you saying and what are you doing? I honor him. And when I fill myself with his word, immerse myself in the word, I'm hearing his character, his nature, and his wow. heart. And then he leads me through the word. And, and my whole goal is to become aligned with his spirit and his word, truth. And the spirit of truth who leads us into all truth, that's who the Holy Spirit is. Right, right. It says the Holy Spirit takes what belongs to Jesus and manifests it to us. Wow, that's I mean, good. that's big. Yeah, it's, and isn't this what your book, Alignment, yes. is uh -huh. about? That's, it's all That's, about that. And, and I've, st I've not finished it yet. I'm about page 70. But every story <clears throat> is so rich. Mm. It pulls you in. And I think what it did for me is when I started reading this, each chapter, all of a sudden, it is not anymore about what I or we do wrong or what we can't do, but it's all about him and what uh -huh. he is going to do. Is yeah. that what you're talking about yeah. right now? Yep, it's coming into alignment with his promises, his word, who he says we are and what he says he'll do, and then his presence in his Holy Spirit who's in us and among us. And so it's letting God be God and us go, okay, now, we can talk about the sovereignty and that God will just do it, but that's not what he wants to do. He wants to use us. It says in Psalms, he only does wonders. All, everything he does is a miracle. Yeah. But he wants to do them with us. All through the Bible, all through the New Testament, he sent his disciples out to do things. He sent the apostles out to do things. He sent believers out to do things because he wants to use us to do his wow. miracles. What an honor. It is an honor. I, I'm overwhelmed by the privilege. And I tell you, because I'm part of Under You, Under the, in the healing rooms. And <laughs> so my favorite of the week. <laughs> part, my favorite part is the hour before we even walk into uh -huh. the door. Mm. It's like all the crud starts to leave. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, the critical thinking goes out the door and mm. it's replaced by his presence. Yes. And it changes it. Uh -huh. Do you resonate with that? Oh, yeah. That's the most important time for our teams because we're aligning with him, connecting with him, and then we're connecting and aligning with each other as family yeah. who don't have to be in control. And we're, each one of us has giftings and callings and the spirit living in us. And we fall in love with each other. We fall in love with him. And then we just go out and he does miracles and uses us. Wow. Wow. And, and the control freak up here is the one that we get rid of. <laughs> it really does. It's amazing. I'm amazed. And it's mm -hmm. only an hour. It's just an hour of worship. And all of a sudden, and, and they're weird out there. I have never <laughs> seen such drunk in the spirit man. And in the beginning, I was like, whoa, stay away from that. But I have to tell you, over and over, I, man, I see these men that are on fire for God and they are the happiest, most joyful, 
excited man I've ever seen because it's all about him. Am I right? It, you know, he says, in his presence is fullness of joy. Right. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so he's put a joy in us that defies circumstance. It's like a, a shield wall. It's like a, a, you know, a military stance against all the ravages of the, the world, the flesh, and the devil. And in this place of joy, we stand in him secure in him, protected by him. Wow. And we go forward and release that joy into circumstance and situation. Instead of coming under people's atmosphere of despair, sickness, mm. or even the world. I mean, what if you read the newspapers and you saw the condition the world was in? You could, yes. <laughs> you yes. could come under that. But what if we bring the world person by person under our atmosphere of heaven and our alignment wow. with God and bring them into hope and bring them into the love of God and the joy of God instead of coming under their wow. atmosphere of despair. We've seen mental you know, illness, so depression, everything All leads. Of that just changed. There's more to this. We'll be right back. Barb TV is all about you getting the needs met that you have. Satan wants to steal, kill, and destroy your life, but Jesus wants to give you the abundant life. How do we do that? We have guests with stories, and God wants to do the stories again in your life. He wants to change your life, He wants to improve your life, and He wants you to have all the benefits. Welcome back, and it has been amazing already. Are you as excited as I am? I have seen miracles, I've seen healings, and I have to tell you, when God's at work, there is nothing like that. And this book, Alignment, from Chuck Perry, is full of that. If you want to contact us to try to get to earn to, uh, to get this free book, we love to hear from you. Go to barbtv.org and just go in the prayer box section and say, I want that book. And the tenth person that is asking for the book of alignment uh -huh. will be getting this book. So I encourage you to do that. Now, Chuck, you of course have many more books of this one, and it is excellent people are transformed if they want more where can they go uh, they can get it they can go on my website they can go to the Bethel web store or they can go on Amazon sounds great thank you so much mm -hmm. and they can also get a hold of you on Instagram or Facebook yes so that's perfect thank you with that said there is testimonies that are so important I never realized till you taught me that the shield of faith of the uh -huh. armor of God is part of the testimonies uh -huh. which build faith. What do you actually really mean by that? Well, I, ha I had a vision one day and I saw, you know, how ancient warriors would have these huge shields that protected them. And on them, they painted their ba the victories in battle. And yeah. so every shield was unique to that warrior. And it was his, the testimony. And this is in many, many cultures they did this. And so the shield was a testimony of where they'd been victorious. Well, our shield of faith is basically faith in his faithfulness in our life. And so we can tr try to build up enough faith to believe something and hold up a shield of faith, but that's our own strength. But when we lift up a shield that declares all the times he's been faithful in my life, every testimony, have you ever had a miraculous uh, financial testimony in your oh, life. Yes. yes. Oh, Have yes. you ever seen a miraculous healing in your in your own oh, life? Oh yes. yes. And so, <laughs> when we're we're likely to need another at yeah. some point in true. life. True. Very true. <laughs> and so every time 
that uh, there's a financial need. The bills pile up higher than the money piles up. It happens to all of us. Yes. Then my wife and I, we just start laughing and declaring, oh God, I remember when you were faithful. That time you came through in this situation, this situation. And we start building ourselves up in joy, rejoicing and delighting in all the testimonies of his faithfulness. And that lifted up a shield of faith where the enemy has fiery darts of doubt and unbelief and fear and anxiety. It just extinguishes them because fear and anxiety cannot get through because I'm declaring, no, wait, this, this wow. time, this time, this time, your victory. You've wow. been victorious all these times. And it says it extinguishes the fiery darts of the enemy. That is so interesting mm -hmm. you're saying that because I was once at a worship night with the healing rooms mm -hmm. and that was just more for the worship uh -huh. or for the healing group itself. Uh -huh. And God showed me my own individual uh, shield, and it was pure gold. Uh, and yeah. I got home, and I told my husband, I saw my own shield, and it's pure gold. And he said, you can have a pure gold, because that is soft material. I said, but no, it was real. <laughs> but what you're saying, it's the stories uh -huh. that are pure from the Lord, that yeah. are testifying uh -huh. of what the Lord wants to do again. Uh-huh, yes. Wow. Yep. He's, he's done it again and again and again, and he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. It says he has delivered, does deliver, and will deliver. And so, it, you know, it says that Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy. Yes. And the works of the enemy are stealing, killing, and destroying. Okay? But Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So every time we see the enemy stealing, killing, and destroying. Like, like, what if, Barb, what if there was a worldwide pandemic? What if, like, the whole world shut down because of sickness and Didn't disease? did we just have some of that? <laughs> <laughs> no, the whole world wants to go into fear and anxiety mode. We just did but, that. <laughs> <laughs> but we as the church need to stand up with those shields of faith and go, yes. wait a minute, my God's faithful. Yes. He's delivered me from the plague. He's delivered yes. me from destruction in this area. So every time we see the enemy stealing, killing, and destroying, we have to go, wait, that means Jesus is here bringing life and life more abundantly. So I'm going to be on his side instead of being on the side that goes, oh, dear, you know, everybody's yeah. dying, sickness, disease, yeah, we'll never yeah. get out of it. We need to go, oh, there's life and life more abundantly here. I want to be part of that answer, Jesus. Send me to the one that's hurting so I can pray for healing, so we can bring your kingdom yes. and override the steal, kill, and destroy. So we need to know what side we're on, identify with that side, and declare what that side is doing. Wow. We're seated with him in the heavens above the ravages of this world, bringing the truths of heaven down to this world. Wow, so good. So why don't we do some of that right now? Well, that's a good idea. So <laughs> why don't we go to the camera uh -huh. and we're just going to say the Lord will lead you and okay. we're just going to minister to the people right now. Just speaking about anxiety, <laughs> um, there happens to be a, a bunch of it roaming around the oh, world. Yes, there is. It's not from God. Yeah. And so if you're experiencing severe anxiety, discouragement, depression, or fear, Right now, God's coming in, and he's bringing the shalom of heaven mm. that destroys all that chaotic thinking. And right now, the peace of God is coming into your room. Yep, just open up and receive. He's lifting off of you a cloak of discouragement and fear and anxiety, even of hopelessness and hope deferred. And right now, a living hope is coming in, a peace that goes beyond understanding that will guard your mind and heart in Christ Jesus. So right now, just breathe in his freedom and let anxiety and fear and discouragement fall off. And while you're saying that, I literally see it like, like it's a, like a low cloud, like kind of like a glory uh -huh. cloud, but I'm literally seeing it going into uh -huh. the houses right uh -huh. now. All right. So yes. that is so good. Yes, let him fill you. And, and depression, you know, circumstances can be discouraging, but when we get discouraged, we invite an enemy in and mm. he ravages our mind and puts thoughts in there and so when when you've been under depression right now God wants to lift that depression 
and release a spirit of joy upon you. He wants to <laughs> fill you with his joy uh. and depression flees. You know, just like darkness is the absence of light, depression is the absence of joy. And so right as light comes in and dispels darkness, there's a joy, an unprecedented joy, a joy that knows no limits that's coming in to your heart mm -hmm. right now that's going to take over and drive out all depression. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. And I'm hearing about a knee. It's a right knee. So mm -hmm. I speak to that knee right now. I'm not sure what yeah. pain level you have, but we right now commend that pain level to go to a level zero. Mm -hmm. So as Chuck yes. often says, why don't you stop into the elevator of pain right now <laughs> and hit that zero button and go down and command that pain to leave mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. yes. And that, pain, that knee, I commend for full healing yes. as well. There's also a shoulder. So with that shoulder, we speak full healing and wholeness for your shoulder right now. Thank yes. you, Jesus. I want you to test that out. Just bring it up just a little bit and test that out. And we want to hear the testimony. So please yeah. do email in to Barb TV and share the testimonies yes. because he's moving in houses, in rooms, in bodies right now. And, and we want to hear all about it. That sounds great. Wow, there is so much more. We could go on forever here because God is eternal and forever mm -hmm. and wants you all. So if you want to connect with us, 855-515-5550 or go to our website, barbtv.org. And oh my goodness, there is this heat inside of me right now. And I just want you to know the Holy Spirit uh, is here. He wants to minister to you and you can actually do this yourself. Pray for 200 people and get back to us and see what God does. Chuck, one more time. If they want to get a hold of you, where do they go? They go to my website, chuckperry.com. It's P-A-R-R-Y, chuckperry.com. Thank you for being on the show. Oh, my pleasure. God loves you, and so do I. And I believe in you. If God gave you power, love, and a sound mind, if it's in the right equation, you will not be afraid. You said there were some ways and techniques for you to start stepping into that. Any area of your life that's under the influence of fear is under the influence of a lie. And so it's like, God, what am I believing? What lie am I believing that is making me anxious? The enemy will play on the fear so that you actually don't see or pray into the answer. Do you hear God speak? Hearing God's voice can change your perspective on everything. It changes the course of your life. Learn how to break the obstacles and words that hold you back. Looking to dive deeper in your relationship with God? To activate the person you were created to be. Empower a Champion can jumpstart you to hear God speak. Join us for a free three-day challenge at empowerachampion.com.